If you still have a full-sized keyboard, maybe on a larger laptop or on a desktop, you'll notice that there is a pause break key on your keyboard. And I guarantee that a lot of you don't even know why that button's there for. But you gotta be wondering now, what the heck's that for? Well, in fact, it does have a use. It provides a function that's left there through legacy. Kind of like your appendix, kidney, or heart. Hey, but Mr. Hungary, that doesn't answer the question. Look, I'll go ahead and show you. So all we have to do is give it a little press. And if you go ahead and look at that monitor, you'll see a giant pause. Very pixelated. Like I said, legacy feature that hasn't been updated in years. But what this causes is for the system to pause break. It interrupts all CPU cycles. And what's really cool about that, because the CPU is paused, we can take advantage of this and I'll take my test bench and we'll go ahead and replace the CPU without shutting the system off, without any preparation. Do remember to replace the interface shielding when you put the new CPU in. Otherwise, you should be completely okay. No need to put in new thermal paste. Everything should be fine. When we go ahead and look at the system, we go ahead and look at the task manager. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Nothing weird here. So I hope that helped you out. I hope you learned something. That's what the pause break button does. No matter where you are in this universe, good morning, good day, good night. Bye-bye.